For the second consecutive year, the Liberty Flames found themselves in the A-Sun Championship game, seeking back-to-back -back NCAA bids to cap what has already been a very special season. Final game being played in the Vine Center. Over 9,000 folks on hand to watch Liberty and Lipscomb. First half, the Bisons tried to keep it close, but the Flames unstoppable from the perimeter. Caleb Holmesley with the drop there from the top of the key. Later, it's Elijah Cuffey from the corner. Liberty had a 19-point lead at halftime. Second half, Bison's D not letting the Flames score for nearly five minutes. Asan Asadula trying to get a run here, but Liberty comfortable under pressure. Darius McGee from the corner with the three. 13 points for him today. Liberty repeats as A-Sun champions, earn another NCAA tournament bid with a 73-57 win. Brooke Leonard has more. Thanks, Eric. The final game of the Vine Center couldn't have ended better. A dominant win over Lipscomb, but in very uncharacteristic fashion for the Flames who have found themselves in close games as of late. We want to come out and kind of uh, throw the first punch um, and just play defense. Uh, we, we made some shots early that kind of helped us get that uh, little bit of a cushion, and we just kept guarding and guarding. And I'm so proud of these guys. Back-to-back -back A-Sun titles for the Flames, including a nice bid to the NCAA tournament, one that was anticipated, which Coach Richie McKay said made the season a lot tougher. I, I'm telling you, this was way harder than last year. No, no one expected us to be in the tournament last year. and This year, everyone, uh, everyone had us as the team advancing. So, uh, look, our guys see that too. And absolutely, there was, there was a lot of pressure, but uh, I'm exhausted right now. I didn't sleep very much. But I'm really, really pleased and feel blessed that this group gets to, we get to share our experience a little bit longer because they're, they're a fabulous group to be in. Last season, the Flames were knocked out in the second round by Virginia Tech, but the returning players with tournament experience say this year is different. The seniors and the guys that were here last year know what it takes to win a tournament game. They're hard, and it feels like every single one of them are close. It all comes down to, to the end of the game. So for us, I think this week and next week, we just got to worry about being ourselves and, and being everyday dudes like Coach talks about. Uh, work on the little things and know what we have to do in preparation for Sunday on knowing um, who we're going to play. But then for the younger guys that haven't been there before, I'm just excited for them to get there and have the experience. So now Liberty awaits their fate in the NCAA tournament. Right now, they're a projected 13 seed to take on Maryland. But of course, we won't know for sure until next Sunday. For the final time in the Vine Center at the A-Sun Championship, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports.